Well, tension in the air here. It's got all the ingredients, hasn't it? And it's our main feature today on EA TV. Join us soon. Can the owner of the red hatchback blocking the emergency exit please return to your vehicle? What a perfect day for football we've got here. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. The action today is in the Scottish Premiership. It's Aberdeen against Celtic. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Looking forward to it. I think we're going to have an entertaining tussle here. I think we'll find that out in the first ten minutes, how these teams approach the task. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. Good challenge. And this is the lineup for the home side. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. To Thomas. Christie. What we've got in this game, Alan, is a visiting team that won't be phased by the atmosphere in this ground because they know they can defend. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back and they've also got a great understanding across that back line. Niall McGinn. Super block. Read the play well to intercept. Well, this is where the space is at the moment on the flanks. Space to cross the ball now. Can put them in front here. Well, they managed to get out of harm's way there because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Some players arriving in the middle now. Patient play from them. Real chance! Threw everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Logan. Goal news now from Rangers. It's a goal for Rangers. 18 minutes played, 1-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Did well to read the play, win the ball back by making that interception. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. Christie. A bit predictable with the passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went uh, straight to an opponent. There. Clever ball. It's offside. McGregor. To Thomas. Goal news from Kilmarnock. It's a goal for Hibernian. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Maybe took his eye off the ball. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. He's gone too early, he's offside. Well, they use the forward in these positions, dropping deep. He lays it off and they play from there. Looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant, given the offside. Goal news from Hearts. It's a goal for the visitors. 36 minutes played. 1-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. 
Celtic seeing lots of the ball so far. But I don't think the manager will be happy down there watching this performance. He would have been expecting more. The fans would, and I was. You have to feel that they will step it up sooner or later. Good interception there. Ferguson. Shot blocked here. Got the ball, and they're going at the opposition with speed. To Hedges. Coming in from the flank, dangerously. A chance to break away now on the counter. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Oh, time to get the cross now. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. That is a tackle and a half. Gives it away. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first. Referee blows and we're off for the second half. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. They're looking good when they attack. The keeper can collect this one. That's cut out. The shot's off! Great save! By a diving goalkeeper. Corner's taken. Well, they had a go at goal following the corner. I don't know whether it was rehearsed, Alan. <laughs> it didn't quite look right. Well, it, whether it was rehearsed or not, it wasn't a bad effort, and it didn't miss by much. And again. Return pass. And that will... Peter out that attack, it's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. That's gone out for a throw in. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is alongside me. The football coming up shortly for you from the Scottish Premiership, Celtic against Kilmarnock.
I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Let's have a look now at the Celtic team. Well, we put it up, and what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Well, we know the qualities of this home team today, Alan, don't we? They're so strong defensively, best defensive record in the league. Well, defending is an art, and sometimes a forgotten one in this day and age, but this lot haven't forgotten it, that's for sure. This is how the visitors will line up today. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Goal news from Hibbs. It's a goal for Hibernian. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Just rushed it a little bit, could have relaxed a bit more. Yeah, and he seemed to be off balance when he hit it. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Well, you know who's been... He's through! Can he do it? Push back out into play. Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought, but they're safe again. Well, when you're on top, you've got to make it count, and the fans sense that, and they're urging the players to do that. And Johnson. Good interception there. Let's pause for a moment to let in Alan McAnally here with some goal news. It's a goal for Heart of Midlothian. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Must take the lead here. Comfortable for the keeper. He's won it back easily. A chance to break away now on the counter. Had to be very quick, the keeper there, to get the ball. Frustrating for them, really. That was the opportunity to play on the break, but it's broken down. Just booted forward under so much pressure. McGregor. Terrific tackle. He's been forced just to knock the ball forward by the press. Well, Phil Jones, that's Phil Jones. He's made the interception. Your nearest steward. Thank you. Into the box it goes, along the ground. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error, really a wasteful clearance. Well, they could get the ball back here and they have done. Promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. Intercepted here. They've got the ball back by that interception. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but I don't think the manager will be happy down there watching this performance. He would have been expecting more. The fans would. And I was. You have to feel that they will step it up sooner or later. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. Excellent interception. Must be a goal! That's a great finish for the first goal of the day. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Goal news involving Hibbs. It's a second goal for Hibernian. 40 minutes played, 2-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Saw the pass and dealt with it. 
Intercepted well. The referee, the referee has decided has to add on minimum, two minutes. Two minutes of Good added piece time. of tackling then. He might have put his teammate in here. In towards the far post. And he bangs it away. Well, the referee has signaled for half time and it's. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Good interception. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. This could be a chance. Time for goal! Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. Now that's a throw. It's a challenge for the attacking team here against a mass defence. They'll have plenty of the ball. Surely the equaliser. Very good stop here. In goes the corner. He works so hard on his heading, he needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. There's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally's got news of that. It's a third goal for Heart of Midlothian. 53 minutes played, 3-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. And this is going to be a throw. That throw has literally tossed possession away. Now he wants to take them on. Put the ball into the middle. Dangerous. Good defending. No problem in the end. Power. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Certainly wanting to find a teammate, but he's just found an opponent. Good vision here. I think the cross is on. That's the way to win the ball back. A little bit of surprise, the visitors with less possession here, but they won't mind that one bit because they've got their noses in front and uh, it's been a brilliant performance so far. I'm sure the manager on the sideline will be absolutely delighted. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. Burke. He fancies his chances in getting past these players. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. Julia. They can be quick on the break now. Really in the clear now, in on goal. And there it is, the goal. Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. It is uh, level, both sides have scored here now. Goal news involving St Johnston. It's a goal for Rangers. It's been scored by Stephen Davis. A bizarre comedy of errors at the back, gifting him an easy chance. 70 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. McGregor. It's a heavy touch. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. 
come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. Read the play well to intercept. It's a neat pass. That's going to run on through to the goalkeeper. Now they're pressing in at him. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Really in the clear now. The shots hit the post. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Got to finish here. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Maybe because it was just the one ball on for the attacking team, but the defender saw it coming easily, really. He did, and the crowd... Were... And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Now, we've only got four minutes remaining in the match. So easy in possession. That's how to tackle. Well, most of these supporters came in expecting to see their team win. It hasn't all gone according to plan, but I'm pushing them on now. Pressing left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Hasn't held it, the goalkeeper. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. Two minutes of any time. Ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. It's a very good clip. Referees brought it to a halt. It's finished all. Must be a goal. That's a great finish for the first...
It's a game, really, we don't have to sell for you. It's got such a fascinating history. We could have sold the stadium out, what, five, six times over, I reckon. What a match. And it's live. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith is with me, I'm delighted to say. The action today is from the Cup. It's the quarter-final. It's Aberdeen against Celtic. Yeah, great chance to get to the semis here for both sides. Both sides are ambitious. Both sides more than capable of going on and winning this competition. And this is today's starting lineup for the home team. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. Ferguson. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Looking forward to seeing this pair. They have been scoring goals, three in their last three, and they have been playing well too. Got the ball away from him with the tackle. Ferguson. Spotted that well and intercepted. Let's have a look now at the Celtic team. Well, it's a variation on the theme, really, isn't it? What we're saying is, instead of a back three, he's going to have a back five, and those uh, wide wing backs, as we would call them, are going to be more defensive. I think he's a bit fearful of the opposition. Doesn't look that way, doesn't it? I know he likes to try and convince us that those fullbacks are going to be uh, radiant forward, but if they're under the kosh, I think they'll just sit there nice and tight to the three centre halves. Well, he's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy actually. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Well, it was the final ball to set up the chance, and it would have been, but for the interception. Gets the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. They set it up well for the cross. Up for grabs here. Berg. Thomas. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside, off target. Yeah, just slightly missed time, that one. It's right. Good reading of the... by like, anticipating the pass. The break is definitely on. An opportunity to get the opening goal has gone a-begging. Well, if they end up not winning this game, you'll be thinking about that one tonight. And that will be a throw. That's not what he wanted to do, a poor pass. Advantage allowed here. Thomas. The pass threaded through. Yeah. A real opening for him. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. And there's the interception. Able to intercept here. This does look promising. Good interception there. The run through here in the end to the goalkeeper, disappointment for them. McGregor. Not been the most entertaining, and it's been very even as the possession stats bear out. Will we get to see some goals? A bit more excitement from here on in. Break quickly when they get possession. Could have done better with that counter-attack. 
He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. Threading it through. There. Well, they put the squeeze on and stopped the opposition playing out. He's done well to block that. Christie. Poor attempt at a pass, really. <laughs> Two minutes of added time. That's what it says on the board. Make sure the pass wasn't completed. Tight call, and he's made it, the flag's up. Some relieved faces amongst those defenders there. I think they thought the flag was going to stay down. Half-time in the quarter-final. No real pointers so far, Alan, they're still level. Yeah. <laughs> 45 minutes to go as we start the second half. That's a great interception. Celtic looking really to click into the attacking side of their game now. And that's gone out for a corner, clear cut, and an opportunity now, maybe. A header on target, but never looking as though it's going to get the better of this goalkeeper. Uh, he's under a bit of pressure to head the ball and uh, didn't really get the direction at all on it. He's won it back, easily. Stopping the pass, getting through with good piece of anticipation. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Bauer. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. But he's better than that, it's a poor pass. A chance to break away now on the counter. Looked so promising at the beginning, but came to naught. Read the play well. To Thomas. Julien. And it's been... An hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. McGregor. Julia. read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Completely intercepted. Christie. Not a good pass at all. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Twenty minutes of the 90 still to play. On the attack here. Good clean tackle. He will be furious with himself for such a poor pass. And Lee. It's good play to uh, get a foot in and intercept. It's 
squandering possession cheaply, really, with that pass. And find some space here on the flanks. And there's the interception. He's not let his concentration dip late into this game with that interception. Keeps his team very much in the game. The score's still level. Now right. Tackle goes in. Thomas. So easy in possession. That was catching practice for the goalkeeper. Now they can swing into attack. And he's got some help. Looking to attack the cross in numbers. Tries to punch it away. And that will be a throw. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. He was pretty poor out there today. Limited chances. The defenders had the better of him all match. Here's Hedges. Ferguson. Closing moments of a thrilling game. One more attack, one more goal. That could do the trick. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. Well, there it is, the final whistle. Nothing between the two sides here, and there will now be a replay. Yeah, I'm not sure either team really deserved to win. It was hard to pick the better side, if you like, but, uh, yeah, we go again. So the player that can normally inspire victory didn't quite have that impact today. He was average, and I think his team was average there and didn't deserve anything more than a draw.